right guys let's talk about my spring summer reading list hello my name is jamie i make a lot of very bookish content here on youtube and i live in new zealand and in new zealand while everyone is having their pumpkin spice lattes everyone is experiencing fall everyone's reading spooky books i'm gonna be baking and sunbathing in the hot new zealand sun and i cannot be more excited for it so of course i feel like i needed to create the perfect summer reading list it's currently spring i know kind of deceiving that i'm wearing a jumper but it's currently spring and summer i feel is right around the corner please ignore my dog in the back while we talk through the 10 books i've selected for my spring summer tbr i just feel like they're gonna be perfect for me to read in the hot sun <laughs> this year this season and i'm very very excited so there's a series that people have been begging me to read and i feel like summer's maybe the perfect time i don't know what the book actually entails i don't know the content in the novel apart from the fact that it's a romance so i don't know if it's perfect for summer but i've decided that this summer is the summer i finally start the magnolia park series by jessa hastings so i have selected magnolia parks i'm so excited to read this i feel like i'm so behind I'm so behind. Everyone is obsessed with this and everyone like references it and they're like, that's so Magnolia BJ coded. And I'm like, I don't know what you, any of you mean when you say that. And I'm, this summer, I'm going to know what people mean when they say that. All I know about this is that it entails a very toxic whirlwind romance in the UK. I know it, there's a full universe, full series with other characters as well. And I'm just so excited to meet them all. I feel like this will be such a fun summer read. Do not worry, there will be a full series reading vlog when I eventually get to this. I'm hoping to do one in December so I can be prepared for like the next book in the series coming out in 2024. But yeah, Magnolia Parks, it's happening. It's, it's happening and if it doesn't happen, I'll cry. But we're finally gonna be reading Magnolia Parks in summer, spring, summer, 2023, 2024. I would also love to read another romance by one of the authors who wrote my favorite romance of all time that I read this year. So I would also love to finally pick up The Perfect Find by Tia Williams. I loved Seven Days in June. It was just such a perfect romance for me. And I know that this particular novel is a little bit less intense, a little bit less epic in terms of like the love story than it was in, you know, Seven Days in June. But I'm still so excited to read this because I love Tia Williams' writing style. So I feel like I would just love anything that she writes anyway. I believe we follow a fashion editor who's actually about to turn 40 or she's like in her 40s and she's just life is not going great for her at all it's she's broke she is single and she's unhappy i think she ends up getting this new job and sparks up a little workplace romance between her and one of the other editors at the magazine she works for and it just sounds like a really nice like office place romance which i just need in my life i feel like it's the perfect beach read so i cannot wait to read the perfect find as well i feel like a good old beach holiday is nothing without my twisty thrillers so i've also picked out none of this is true by lisa Jewel. I've read quite a bit by Lisa Jewel this year. Like 2023 was the year that I really got into her writing and she's had some really good thrillers and some ones that aren't as great but this is her newest release and I've heard nothing but good things which is just so 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 exciting. I believe we follow a relationship between two women. One of them is lying about everything and I believe we as the readers won't know to the very end and I'm very excited about that. Lisa Jewel's writing style is yeah maybe not like the best like her characters aren't the most fleshed out but her plots are so fun and the way that she like weaves a mystery through the story is just so 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 good so I know that this book will keep me up at night I know that it will keep me on my toes I know that it will make me want to keep reading so of course a twisty thriller is all I need I'm so excited to read this and of course another book I'm really excited for is The Kind Worth Saving by Peter Swanson this came out earlier in the year and I cannot believe it's taken me like this long to actually pick it up I don't know when I'll pick it up but hopefully very very soon because this is the sequel to The Kind Worth Killing by obviously the same author and I loved that book. It was a five-star thriller for me. So I know that like this is also going to be the most amazing beach read. I cannot wait. I have no idea what this book entails. I have avoided watching people talk about it or looking at the plot synopsis because I don't want anything to spoil this experience for me. But I will say that The Kind Worth Killing is about two people who meet in an airport and they both are quite sinister. They're like, oh, they've got secrets. Maybe they're not sinister, but they've got secrets. And the man is telling the woman about like his cheating wife and she's like, we should kill her. And it kind of starts out as a joke, but then it ends up being kind of serious. So this is the sequel to that. And like, I have no idea what they're going to do because the ending of that book, The Kind of Killing, like shook me to my core. 
what are they gonna do in the sequel like oh i have no idea but i'm so excited so obviously i cannot wait to read this i feel like it's gonna be so much fun here is another book that i'm really really keen to read by another author that i've really loved but i've only read one book by him and that is small worlds by caleb azuma nelson so i read open water by the same author i think maybe in 2021 and i absolutely loved it it was a five out of five star read so gorgeous writing style so 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 beautiful so i bought this like when it first came out and i have read it yet and I just I know that this summer I need to. I believe it's set over the course of three summers which is why it kind of inspired me to put it on my summer reading list but we follow our main character Stephen and we follow his life over the course of three separate summers and he's a dancer and he loves dancing he's a very joyful person but I think more and more tragedies kind of happen to him and we're kind of just with him on that journey and I don't really need to know much about the plot to be honest because Caleb Azuma Nelson's writing style is just so gorgeous, just so poetic and telling such beautiful stories even if those stories aren't the most joyful. So I'm really excited to see what happens in Small Worlds. I cannot wait to read it. I know I'm gonna love it so yeah can't wait. I haven't talked enough about the romances that I put on my reading list. Apart from the other two I just talked about I have four other romances. I feel like it's gonna be a very romance heavy season for me. I would really love to read The Roughest Draft by Austin Seaman Broker and Emily Wibbly who are a married writing duo. I read their most recent novel Do I Know You. I read that earlier in the year and absolutely loved it and it was the first book that I like read by them and this one just seems so 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 fun and so exciting and this is basically about two like rival writers who have to come together and write a novel together so it feels kind of like maybe inspired by their romance like I don't think the authors were enemies but like you know they're a romance writing duo and this is about a romance writing duo and it seems so like a summary and fun so I really want to read this I just I just loved their previous romance I read so this is their debut I think and I'm very excited to read it I want to see where they all started some of the other romances I really want to read um I would love to read love her or lose her by tessa bailey as well i actually read this is the second book in like the fix her up series i don't know what the series is called probably something embarrassing and i don't want to say it out loud um but i read fix her up earlier i thought it was like fun okay but i really want to read love her or lose her and then also get to the third book in the series called tools of engagement just because i really liked the side characters when i read fix her up and these follow the side characters which is really fun and i feel like Tessa Bailey writes romances that are just fun and easy to like zone out to and that is really what I want this summer. I believe also this is kind of marriage and turmoil romance. Like the two characters are already together, they're already married but their relationship is really very much on the rocks and then they end up maybe flipping a house or I don't know doing something with like constructing a house and they kind of like have to bring their relationship back to life in a sense and I just love stories like that. They're so fun so I feel like the banter in here is going to be excellent. I feel like Tessa Bailey is really good at witty banter so I cannot wait to read this I just feel like it's gonna be really fun I'm also going to give an author a second chance I feel like I've had a lot of authors on here that like I've either loved before or never read from before so I've decided I'm gonna be giving Carly Fortune another chance and read meet me at the lake which is like perfect summer vibes I think it's gonna be interesting because the book every summer after by Carly Fortune I read and didn't love and that was a second chance romance and this is also a second chance romance so I'm kind of like is Carly Fortune gonna be a one-trick pony like I don't know but I'm hoping to love this I feel like again it's gonna be one of the romances where I can really zone out and just read it so I don't know I'm gonna give it a go I'm gonna give it a go I feel like now's the perfect time to read it so this is also going to be on the reading list for summer another series that everyone's been talking about that I really want to read is the Chestnut Springs series so I'm hoping to read Flawless by Elsie Silver and really get into the series over summer this is a cowboy romance everyone knows what the series is i feel like i'm like the last person to read it i believe our main male main character is a professional bull rider but he's a bit of a bad boy and then our female main character gets hired to kind of like be his minder and they form a romance that's all i know and does that concept particularly interest me like sure like you know sure but I've heard so many great things about it. So many booktubers love it. And my friend Heaven recently um, started the series and she's like, this is the best thing ever. So I trust I trust her opinion. She's given me some good recs. So I cannot wait to read this. I feel like it's gonna be really, really fun. And I wanna see what all the hype is about. Get into a cowboy romance. I've read like a couple of cowboy romances in the past and they were fun. So let's try out this one too. And then finally, the last book, which I think is like the epitome of like a hot girl summer for like, for me personally. 
I really want to read Penance by Eliza Clark, another author that I've read like their debut novel and that's it. So I'm pretty sure this is her sophomore novel. I loved Boy Parts by the same author. That definitely wasn't really a hot girl summer book. And you know what? I don't think this one is going to be either because it's very like true crime based. But again, I've heard so many good things. I love Eliza Clark's writing style. So let's just give this a go. I believe 10 years ago, like this kind of like intense murder happened. And then this novel is kind of like a series of like reports or interviews just kind of like chronicling the murder. Thank God it's like fiction because I don't do true crime. But that's really exciting to me. I don't like true crime, but I love a murder mystery. So when it's fictional, you, that's why I eat up murder mysteries. I love them, but I don't like true crime. But I'm really excited to read this because I feel like it's gonna be very, very different to Eliza Clark's other novel, like Boy Parts. Definitely seems like a very different different energy to this but i'm excited to see what eliza clark does with like a new concept a new kind of style of storytelling i don't know i've heard amazing things about it and also my coffee is signed so i'm just really excited to read it i don't know that's like irrelevant to what's actually inside the story but i don't know i'm so excited to read it and this is the one i think that i'm like most excited for yeah penance by eliza clark so that is my summer reading list for the upcoming season i really hope you enjoyed guys let me know what you think i should prioritize let me know if you've read any of these books and you're like jamie you're gonna love this read this as soon as possible but yeah if you are a southern hemisphere girly like myself let me know what your summer reading list is but also if you're a northern hemisphere girly let me know what your fall winter reading list as well because i just i just love seeing people's like tbrs they're so fun anyway thank you so much for watching guys i appreciate you all so much i hope you enjoyed this short little video but yeah to hear a reminder that all my socials are linked down below as well as my patreon so if you do want extra content from me extra live shows if you just want to like i don't know have a more intimate space where we can all hang out all the information and the perks and stuff is on the page so feel free to check that out if you want to but yeah guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate you all i hope you have the most amazing day love you lots and i'll see you very very soon in the next video bye